my mum, obviously a massive football fan. She used to play football herself when she was a lot younger. You know, obviously when I was born, as soon as I could walk, she used to just throw football in front of me. I would play with it around the house, like one, two year old. And um, yes, that was sort of the start of it really. We had this tournament in Galston where I was currently playing for Shrubbing Sharks under eights. We won 16-0 and I was playing up front. And in that game, I think I must have scored 12. And um, after the game, there was two Norwich scouts that approached my mum and dad and they were just asking, we like what you see in your boy. They thought it was Norwich. They were like really happy, you know, delighted for me of how hard it is to like, get scouted. But obviously when you see the Norwich badge you're like, and you're local, you're like, yeah, this is, this is it. A few of us would get let go. So obviously it was really hard to stay on, so you got to be on your A game every single time you go into that session. Even though it was just games, it wasn't natural training, it was just playing games every week, you know, showing them what you can do. I was very fortunate and lucky enough to receive a contract. So I spent 10 years at Norwich. There was a lot of ups and a lot of downs, you know, like not to mention with a few injuries that I had along the way, but I remember like when I first signed, so like the first couple of years, it was it was really difficult because um, I was so used to playing with like my friends that live locally to me. And then to go from like that situation to now being like a professional environment, football is still all about enjoying it, like having a laugh and stuff. Spencer Keller is not to be denied. I kind of knew that my time was coming to an end sadly because we brought in this new manager at the time. And at the start, you know, he's just like, ah, oh, like he's having me and all this stuff, but like he's not showing actions by like not playing me. And then in the end, I kind of just got sick of it. This manager treating me in certain ways, acting very unprofessional. But um, I stood up for myself and I said, you know what? I think my time here is done. I had a really good time here. I've been here for 10 years. You know, I think it's just time for me to move on. I had a meeting with them, had a chat. They were like, okay, that's fine. Things ended there. And after I've left Norwich, I was out doing a session and I felt like someone kicked, kicked me from behind as my foot's been planted on the floor. And I've heard like a little clip in my knee. And I just remember just crying. <laughs> I remember just crying again. I was thinking, no. Obviously, I couldn't play football. I couldn't do anything. I was on crutches all the time. I was being stuck in my bedroom all day. Be like, I'm going to overcome this. I'm going to come back a different breed. So eventually, I got my surgery. You know, as soon as I could walk, I was already like, in the gym. I had to really work hard to get back. The first um, trial I had back was um, Kings Lynch. And I remember the first game, i have come on from the bench. And I remember getting the ball on the right-hand side. I kind of like cut in, took on a player and just hit it with my left foot and kind of knuckleballed it top corner. Yeah, they were happy, the manager was buzzing as well. And um, after the game, he had a little word with me and he said, like, oh, okay, we're not offering you the contract. You know, I spent what, nearly a year, year and a half out of football. I'm going to be back into like a professional environment again, training every day, back to doing what I love doing. I'm now at Kings Lynn and we're going to see what happens with that next season.